Fox Carolina first alert weather. Time now 613. Welcome back and a good Monday morning to you everybody. Hopefully you like the weather, uh, the weather that is over the weekend because uh, we're just getting more of it as we head out the door today. Get the kids ready for school though. In the uh, next uh, hour here, you got temperatures that are going to start mostly in the 50s, be it upstate or in the mountains. So, you know, light jacket, probably a good idea for some of the kids, but uh, again, make it one that they can easily tuck in their backpack because by the time they come home, we're talking low 80s to mid 80s in the upstate and uh, upper 70s to some low 80s. In in the mountains, so no need for that jacket as the day goes on. Now, temperatures out there this morning. Here's that mixed bag we're talking about. Franklin, that's a spot. Yeah, jackets warranted this morning, 46 degrees. And with low to mid 50s across most of the mountains, I think you're definitely leaning more into jacket territory. But then you get upper 50s, even some low 60s in the upstate, uh, 63 around Greenville, for example. I leave the judgment call to you. I think it's a toss up. Uh, personally, you know, I just got here fresh from Michigan a few months ago, so 50s in the morning feels great to me, but maybe that's not the same case for you. All right, first alert radar here uh, this morning. We have high pressure still in place just off the Carolina coastline here. That's going to keep our weather nice and quiet out there today and continue this fetch of unseasonably warm air in across the southeast. At the same time, we're going to watch this cold frontal boundary back across Arkansas into uh, all the way to the Great Lakes for that matter. That's going to sweep across Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia late today and into the overnight period, eventually pushing some uh, showers and uh, clouds our way as we start to close in on about daybreak or so tomorrow. But, uh, you know, again, for the meantime here, we're at least enjoying this nice warm air mass that has helped to scour out any and all of that cold air uh, that we were dealing with last week. Next 24 hours here on Future Track. Here's how it all unfolds. We go from the 7 o'clock hour. Sun will be up around that time and another day where it's wall to wall sunshine all day long. Maybe a few scattered fair weather clouds bubbling up in the skies around lunchtime into this afternoon. Outdoor activities, any and all of them this afternoon, while warm, are going to be met with some good conditions. Staying on the uh, partly cloudy side into the 8 o'clock hour tonight, it's going to be a slow process, but clouds will start to kind of trickle in overnight. Does look like parts of the upstate first thing tomorrow morning will see sun, but then there's your line of showers rolling into the western mountains closer to Franklin by about 9 a.m., then uh, scattered showers and some new flare-ups of thunderstorms moving into the upstate and east of the mountains by 1 p.m. when we get some daytime heating, but it doesn't stick around long. In fact, just about all of it gone in time for the evening commute on Tuesday. 82 is your high for today in the mountains. Unseasonably warm, mostly sunny all around a winter. Mostly sunny, very warm. Mid 80s in the upstate for today. Those uh, storm potential for tomorrow uh, in the mountain or in the upstate, I should say, does uh, prompt a first alert weather day with a high of 82. Then dry conditions Wednesday through Saturday with 70s and 80s for highs. Similar story in the mountains. First alert weather day tomorrow as a high drops back to 71. Then 60s and 70s and dry for the rest of the week. Now we'll look out 